bridge, which has a span of 22.9 meters. This is the larger of their two bridges. The other bridge is a number nine bridge and has a span of 11.9 meters. Here now, if you look to your front, is the combat engineer tractor. It is a very versatile vehicle, weighs about 17 tons, and has a speed of 28 miles per hour. It also has a good swimming, swimming capability, which, is, which it is now demonstrating. The new engineer bridge, which will shortly come into service, will have a span of up to 26 metres and will make it the largest bridge of its kind in the world. It is, of course, an easy target for the enemy as it's such a large piece of equipment and normally would be, this operation would be conducted under the cover of smoke. However, for today's purposes, because we want you to see these equipments, there won't be any smoke. It's laid its bridge, the first vehicles will begin to cross. First of those vehicles will be the tanks, and I'll tell you more about the tanks later. However, let me now just tell you that they are heavy vehicles, and the bridge is designed to bend about nine inches. Should a tank cross it and the bridge bends a little more than nine inches, would somebody in the crowd please stick up their hand, because I can stop them, because we don't want our tanks falling into a ditch. vehicles are still in their previous positions, making sure that there isn't any threat from the enemy. Now you can see the bridge there has done his task and is moving away. If you now look to your left, you'll see the first of the vehicles moving to the obstacle in order to cross the bridge. Right, the first look you see is a Challenger tank, a part of the Challenger troop deployed today. The Challenger is the British Army's main battle tank, which will replace Chieftain. It weighs 62 tons, and is powered by a Rolls-Royce engine, which gives the tank a good performance on roads and across country. Across country, it can travel at 25 miles per hour, and on roads at 50 miles per hour. It is a powerful tank, and develops a brake horsepower of 1,200. That's about 12 times the brake horsepower of a Golf GTI. It's equipped with a 120mm gun, and it also has two machine guns, which are general purpose machine guns. One is correctly mounted with the main armament, and the other is on top of the turret for the use of the commander. You can see now that the troop has crossed. It takes a lot of practice for the drivers, especially closed down as they are today, to be able to negotiate these, these bridges. If you look now towards the bridge, you'll see the Scorpion reconnaissance cars are crossing. They all drive straight through the Challenger position, moving from left to right and on to their next car.
has been properly stowed away. And it bridge, this is the number a nine bridge, and it has a capability of crossing gaps up to 13.3 meters. Thank you. 
shortly. Now we have to dismount it, and you can see that we have three on the floor. They all moved in party. That is to say that some of them will stay in a position on the ground, and the other half will get up and charge towards the infantry. The enemy infantry now, in their trenches, would have had artillery rounds on top of them, and the far from attack. It is the job of our infantry to move forward in fire team to get amongst the enemy, enemy infantry and get them off the objective. At this stage of the battle, control will be passed to the infantry. You can see it's entire business. Getting up, running, dashing down, checking the sights, firing the enemy, and once the other half is ready, getting up again and moving forward. I think they're now on the position, in amongst the enemy trenches, and they will now start to clear them. You can see that the centre challenger has remained where it was. Its job, don't forget, was to fire on the infantry to make sure that the enemy's heads are down, to give the infantry a good chance of getting on to the objective. Don't forget that we had our own forces in the fire support position above Letterboard Charlie. They would have switched their fire from the objective position onto second, secondary objectives. And once the squadron leader is happy that the position is clear, he will move them forward to continue the advance together. But however, because of the limitations of the area and for demonstration purposes, they will stay where they are today. You can see now over to your right-hand side that the fire support has moved on to their next task, and that task will be to continue with the advance.
they were very popular in North Africa. The light tank, very high speed, uh, in excess of 35 miles an hour, powered by an aircraft engine, earlier this year. Uh, the 
There are still quite a large number of them in use on farms in Norway for taking feed up into the mountains, up to the cattle, sheep.